Product placement and assortment in a store and on a shelf isn't just guesswork. Using scientific evidence to understand consumer buying behavior helps both brands and retailers maximize opportunity to drive sales. So we wanted to use technology, and specifically VR or virtual reality, to reinvent how brands gather consumer data and perform research, allowing them to do it faster, more affordably, and at larger scale. Kellogg's was launching a new product, Pop-Tarts Bites. They needed market data to determine placement, assortment, and the marketing strategy in store. Traditionally, this data would be gathered via online surveys or in home user tests. And while these methods do provide valuable insights, we knew mobile VR and eye tracking could provide additional data with fewer logistical concerns. Qualcomm partnered with Accenture to create a more effective solution for this kind of market research. By using our mobile VR platform, we're able to give researchers more flexibility in their testing with the potential to deploy to a wider range of testers at lower costs, but most importantly, with greater functionality. The headset is powered by our latest and greatest flagship processor, the Snapdragon 845. It supports full room scale positional tracking, but even more impactful for this project is the integration of the latest eye tracking software from our partner, Toby, giving us the ability to precisely track where the user is looking with a very high degree of accuracy. We worked with In Context Solutions, a VR merchandising platform, and Cognitive 3D, an eye tracking analytics platform, to create a virtual supermarket complete with aisles and store shelves and virtual products to fill the shelves. Using a mobile VR solution, unencumbered by restrictive heavy cables, liberates the user to tour the virtual supermarket while the eye tracking technology is doing its job, giving us the new layer of valuable data about the shopper's attention and focus. Studies have shown that shopping in virtual reality closely reflects real-world behaviors. With a virtual store, it's much easier to quickly alter variables like placement, assortment, or signage to test different configurations and then see how those changes impact purchasing outcomes. And when gathering data for Pop-Tarts Bytes, we knew what the traditional methods had already shown, and that is that consumers expect to find new products higher up on a shelf. So in our first testing scenario, we placed the product on a high shelf and added promotional signage and captured shoppers' eye movements as they looked at virtual shelves. We can see their eyes were drawn to the sign and nearby products. This even helped visibility of other brands placed above the Pop-Tarts Bites. In our second scenario, we placed the product and sign on a lower shelf. And sure enough, again we observed users' eyes were drawn to the sign and the nearby products. But more importantly, we saw that the placement increased attention to the other surrounding Pop-Tarts products. So while we were able to confirm the high degree of correlation between the results of our VR tests and those from existing testing methods, eye tracking also provided us insights in consumer behavior that otherwise we would have missed. And that led us to a different merchandising conclusion to place the Pop-Tarts Bites in a lower position, resulting in an increase of total brand sales of 18%. So using state-of-the-art mobile VR hardware powered by Snapdragon and embedded eye tracking, we are able to generate more useful data and better insights. Resulting in improved speed, scale, and costs of market research for our CPG and retail clients.